What's up everyone? I have had to do a lot with this heli since um, yesterday. So I'll try and give you a quick rundown. Hopefully I don't forget anything. First thing was really silly. If you watch my uh, fourth flight from yesterday when I came down, I once again, uh, like the complete noob I am, I, uh, I uh, hit the tail or the tail rollers on the ground. So I stripped out the the rear gear the torque tube gears on both sides uh meaning you know at the where the tail rotor is and also uh where the main gear is so i had to uh fix that uh last night that was pretty straightforward the other thing which was more important if you caught my setup flight yesterday i was not getting um the governor didn't seem to be working properly on the icon 2 so i um have switch this now i've taken it away from the uh, i'm using the internal governor on the esc um so what i did to do that uh first thing oh i thought i had it here but uh, i used the uh, align um programming box to set up the flight mode uh there's four different flight modes uh, there's the one for uh, aircraft, fixed wing aircraft, and then there's the linear throttle, which is what I was using in, uh, when I used the governor in the fiberless, and that's what you would use if you were using uh, an external governor like that. Um, then there's the ELF Gov, which is essentially a uh, Gov mode where it doesn't store any of the settings so it calibrates every time uh, it starts up and then there's a store gov which is what i'm doing here and uh, the first minute of this flight is going to be to calibrate that i also calibrated the throttle i, I recalibrated the throttle with my esc again just to be sure um and uh yeah so um you know i didn't i'm obviously not going to go through how i did all that it's all pretty straightforward but if anybody wants an actual video on that if you ha can't find one on youtube you know comment uh this video and i'll see if i can put one together the other thing and i'm gonna give some props to uh freddy can fly for this so if you can see my transmitter here uh one of the things uh to oh you can't see it um you can see the pitch curve Oh no, it's not because I have the throttle hold on. Hold on a second. Maybe. Oh, I can turn that off. Sorry. Because I have. Um... Okay, so uh, the throttle curve here, you see I have zero. So it's got zero here and then 50%, uh, which we're going to run it at to uh, set, uh, calibrate the throttle. And then on the pitch curve, um, uh, I have it set here where it's 50%, 50%, 50% so that, um, you know, it's zero pitch uh, throughout the entire process of calibrating the throttle. And um, you'll see here on the throttle curve here that, um, you know, the governor will... Um, the governor will start uh, in the ESC when the throttle is at 40%. So that's why it's at zero here. And then, you know, we'll hold it at 50 there. So uh, anyways, so we're going to do that min minimum. It's supposed to be a minimum 15 seconds. We're going to go ahead and um, run it for, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute. Who knows? Uh, and uh, that should calibrate the throttle. So let me go ahead and do that. It's a little windier out today than I would have liked to, but I was really anxious to get this done. So let's go ahead. We're going to get the throttle up to 50%. Oh, wait a second. Uh, huh. It does not seem to be... Uh... Hmm. I don't know what... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But... Uh, I don't seem to be getting any throttle. Um, okay. Uh, let me just... Uh, Pause this video and I'll be back trying to figure out what's up. So we are a day later from when I recorded the first part of this video. Um, I gotta be quick because uh, 
today is a, an overcast day with rain expected and I just felt a few drops but I really want to get this test flight in. So yesterday I wasn't uh, able to finish the video because I really couldn't get the throttle working properly. In normal mode the throttle wouldn't spin at all and if I flicked it into idle up um, it uh, just uh, it would start to spin but I didn't trust it because to me that felt that uh, the the store gov uh, calibration didn't finish so I went back home I managed to so what I did was I recalibrated the throttle and then I was able to um, set the uh, calibrate the the governor uh, in my backyard so I guess what happened yesterday was that you know I normally plug in the battery uh, in the pits and then I I just walked the heli out to the field and I think that there was too much time in between all of that uh, and uh, it just uh, because it was the first time power up uh, from when I set the store gov, it just didn't calibrate properly. That's my best guess because after I did everything yesterday at home on the bench, I um, I tested and I was able to get uh, you know head the head speeds that I was looking for. So I think it should work. So in idle up one right now, I have 70%, 75% throttle. Uh, idle up two is 80%, and idle up uh, idle sorry normal mode. 75% idle up one is 80% uh, and idle up to 85% and what I was showing on the bench with no blades was head speeds of um, basically just over 2400 just over 2600 and just over 2800 so we'll see what it is with the blades on so you know we're looking here at my transmitter um, and let's see what happens so this is normal mode okay I don't know how it's going to react with the tail because I don't know that I've really run these kind of head speeds with this legit. So you can see here 2400, 2460, so it's around 2400. And then in idle up one, we have 2060, and then idle up three, we're getting 28. So let's try idle up one, and uh, or let's try uh, uh, normal. Because that's 2400 which is what it was maxing out at before so the tail seems to be holding fine here okay so there there yeah I don't know if you saw that but I'll try and do it again when I do a pitch pump the tail kicks to uh, kicks to the right oh yeah quite a bit actually quite a bit so that's that's a I believe that that would be a pitch pre comp uh, issue. Let's go to 2600 here. Um, looks like the tail is starting to fidget a bit. So let's lower the gain a little bit. Okay, so it's still twitching back and forth. Let's try and do a pitch pump. Okay, so with the pitch pump, it's still uh, it's definitely kicking. Oh yeah, quite a bit. So that is something I'm going to have to fix. Okay, so I flick the tail gain back. It's a little higher. Let's try 2800 IPM here. So here, tail seems to be holding okay. Yeah, so I expect here the pitch, uh, the the tail kick would be quite a bit. Let's try. Oh yeah. Okay. So I definitely have to adjust that. Uh, the, uh, let me try. Okay. So here um, I've lowered the pre comp. I have it on the switch. Let's see if this helps the tail. Okay. It didn't. It didn't go. It didn't go quite as much. Oh no. It did. Okay, so let's, I'm going to try this 2600, let's see what the tail does, okay, yeah, it's quite a bit, okay, so I have to make that adjustment, alright, so the tail is twitching a bit, so we're going to, we're going to have to, let me see if I can work on that on this 2600, I can't make the adjustments,
So let me make, I'm gonna make some adjustments here on the, the transmitter, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I actually, uh, with the throttle hold on, I can't make any of the tail adjustments I want, so um, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, so I'm just gonna fly out the rest of this battery pack in uh, normal mode. Uh, this 2400 RPM is where I've flown this before, so I don't think the... I think with the settings that I have, it shouldn't be too bad with the tail kicking. Let's try a TikTok here. Okay. That didn't go too well. Let's try it again. I don't know if I've flown this head speed quite as much as I'd uh, uh, like. Let's try that again because that did not go well. Okay, well, not quite. Uh, so the tail is still kicking. 20 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, All right, 2, let's come back in. 1, 